Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. In this video, I'm going to show you the in-depth mechanics of how the campsite works so that you can understand how to add villagers, how to get rid of villagers, and just an overall better understanding of the game's mechanics. And we're diving in right now. If you're new here, then consider subscribing since I've got a lot of content regarding Animal Crossing that I think will really help you in your gameplay. For example, I'm building a full series all about how to add more villagers, how to get rid of villagers, and so much more. So the video is laid out kind of like this. I'm going to explain the mechanics of the campsites, how they work for villager personalities, and how often villagers can show up. I've also got a strategy on how to add villagers, how to get rid of villagers, so that you can control which villagers you have living on your island. And then if you want to jump forward and backwards, I've put the time links down in the description of this video. The methods that we are going to discuss today can be used by time travelers and non-time travelers alike. However, just keep in mind that if you're not time traveling, then your methods will be the same, but it'll take a lot longer since you simply aren't skipping days. The campsite appears to be designed to target personality types that are not currently living on your island. Since there are eight different personality types, you can basically say that you have a one in eight chance of encountering any one personality from a campsite villager. However, because of the game mechanics, if you're missing a specific personality, then the game improves your odds of encountering the missing personality type. For example, It'll adjust your odds so that you can encounter the missing personality type about 60% of the time. So as you can see, there's still about a 40% chance of you getting a personality that you already have on your island. Here's how commonly the campsite visitors will spawn into the game. So for one to two days after the campsite visitor leaves, you'll have a 0% chance of another visitor showing up. For three days after, it's a 5% chance. Four days after, a 10% chance. Five days after, a 15% chance. And then six days and beyond, there's a 20% chance that a campsite villager will show up at your campsite. And 20% is actually the max. As you proceed through each day, the fact that a villager didn't spawn at the campsite doesn't increase your odds for the next day. Here's one strategy that we can use to help control the personalities that are living on our islands. Step number one, begin by time traveling six days to the future. Step number two, load your game, go past the daily announcement, and walk out of your house. Immediately save, and exit completely from the Switch's home screen. Time travel one day forward. This will set your chance of spawning in a campsite villager to the maximum of 20%. Then step number three is start the game and read the daily announcement from Isabel. She will let you know if there is a new campsite visitor. If there's not a visitor in her announcement, then immediately close the game from the Switch's home screen, time travel one day forward. Then repeat this step until she announces a new campsite villager has arrived. Step number four is if there is a campsite visitor then be sure to go and check it out. See who it is. If you don't like the villager, then simply save the game, exit the game from the Switch's home screen, and start the process over by beginning at step number one. Step number five is if you wish to keep the visitor, then you'll want to save and exit the game. Then relaunch. This will ensure that the campsite visitor is still on your island and all progress has been saved. And by the way, if you have any questions or find extra information about this technique, then please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear back from you, and I'm willing to help you by answering any of your questions. Step number six is after you have relaunched the game, go back to the campsite visitor and go through the recruitment process. In your conversation, you will have to win a card game or two, and then you'll have the option to invite them to stay. Step 6A is if in conversation they try to pick a villager to replace, and you don't want that option, then simply close the game from the Switch's home screen and try the process again. And then you can go back to the villager, go through the recruitment process, and they should choose a different villager to replace. Repeat this process until they pick the villager that you want to get rid of. Complete the conversation, and be sure to save your game. This is one method of how to get rid of villagers in Animal Crossing. Step number seven is after you have successfully recruited the campsite visitor, you can give it a day and the previous villager's house will be sold to a new villager. On day two, the new campsite villager will be moving in and on day three, the newest villager will have moved in completely. So here's what I'd recommend if you're hoping that your favorite villager, such as Raymond, is going to visit you at your campsite. The best way to increase your chances of getting his personality style to visit your island 
is by ensuring that you have all of the other personalities already on your island. In addition, it's believed that as you cycle through each villager, that the game will remember this and not present to you the same villager too many times, but at this time, that's still to be confirmed. For all of your Animal Crossing needs, be sure to check out one of these other videos on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you found it helpful.